Moi mai rā mātou sani Pā ki nā te kaua Ko te kaua nui, ko te kaua roa Ko te kaua whakai tike tike Ko te kaua o tēnei whare kōrero Ko te kaua o tēnei whare whakāro E tūne Rukutia, rukutia Tōna paukai āwha Ko te whakaputonga o ngā rangatira Rukutia, rukutia tōna pau toko manawa Ko te tiriti o waitangi Rukutia, rukutia tōna pau tūā Rungo koi a tērā ko te mana Ko te ihi, ko te tapu o ngā mātua tūpuna ki a tau, ki runga ki a tātou, e hui nei, e pai nei. Whitiki hia ki a u, whitiki hia ki a mau, ki a tūturu, ki a whakamaua, ki a tīna. Te inga, au mi e hui e tāuki. E mihi ana ki a tātou katoa e noho nei, e mihi ana ki a koutou e whakarongo mai nā, i o koutou nea, i o koutou wāhi kāinga. E mihi ana ki tā tātou manuhiri, kwa tau mai, a ki te ho mai i o ngā mōhioranga, i ona whakāro, i ana kōrero, kia whāngai i te rangatiratanga o te whakāro, kia wāma ko tātou tēnei, e mihi ana, e mihi ana, e mihi ana. E ora, tēnā nā tātou, tautoko no ana i ngā mihi, i ngā kupu, i ngā kōrero katoa, tēnā tātou. O, tūhine, kei a koe, tēnā hakataki i a koe anō, ko ai koe e nōhe a koe, a i rā kōrero. Ka pai, kia ora, tēnā koutou, o ti rā kia koutou e mātaki mai ana. Ko Jordan, rāpana tōku ingo, he uri tēnei nō whāinga roa i te tahau tōku pāpa. Nō hāmo hoki nō Muliwha Nua Lalo V, nō Vaimo Sono Whale Lātai. Ai. Kia ora, ka pai. And, yeah, I think me kōrero hoki, he hao mahi, he hao ho kaupapa. Ai. Ai. Tētahi o aku mahi, he kaiako reo Māori ki te wānango Aotearoa. Tētahi atu, he kaititō waiata, he kai waiata hoki. Ai, he māma. Kia ora, tēnā koe. Ai, wana waiata, taku tino waiata, au, tua hine, Brown Melodies, tino tunes. E te iwi, pēnā, if you haven't looked up tua hine here, uh, Apple Music, yeah, Spotify, yeah, yeah. Kei Leila Kato, Wana Waiata, yeah, Jordan with a Y, um, yeah. Tino uh, Chiamunga Waiata tracks, Reila, Tautoko here, Kure Te Kōrero. Um, Apoi, tēnā tātou. Uh, this is our, uh, this is another kaupapa, another wānanga uh, that we're bringing to you, uh, ko te kaupapa matua, uh, we never see it at our whakapapa. Uh, hoi anō, kā timata ki tētahi uh, wānanga warm-up, we'll kick off with a with a wānanga warm-up just to get the, um, stoke the fire a bit and get the, get the wheels turning. Uh, hoa mā. Um, so, ko te, ko te tohe, ko te kaupapa o tēnei uh, wānanga warm-up. Rewana vs fried bread. Mm. Okay. Age-old debate uh, i wānanga i tewi Māori. <coughs> Rewana vs fried bread. Kei ākoe tua hine. Uh, Hea rā o whakaaro. Kei ārā, fried bread all the way. 100 percent. You know, kia whanga i tō soul, soul food tēnā. Ha poi, fried bread. Whakaaro anō i kone? If I kia unei, my thoughts, I think it depends what you're having it with. So if it's if it's a dessert, I'd go there one up, because then you could just have it with jam and butter, and then that's all you need. But if it's with a boil up, or if it's with a hangi, I'd probably go fried bread, just because it marries well with that kai. Ha poi. Just the type of types of fibers they've been coming up. There's um, I've seen people trying to use like healthy alternatives, like gluten free fried bread or like air fried non air fried fried bread. Uh, air mama, kati te na mani. We stop like we all know this is this isn't um ideal calorie or macronutrients. Ketchup by dinner, that's not we're not here for that. We're just here for a good old soul food um to dip um that fried bread into a sipi chowder. So. Yeah, I also am um, team fried bread as well. Kia ora, kia ora. Yeah, you just got to embrace it, eh? And yeah. Embrace it for the wide world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and calories don't count if it's good for the wide world, apparently. Yeah, yeah. So, koia tēnā. Moderation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a bit on the fence, eh, with the early one and fried bread. I think the determining factor for me is actually what I'm having it with. Um, so, yeah, with so if it's a chowder, it's got to be fried bread. Mm -hmm. Like me, me fried bread lawa. If it's a chowder. Power. Yeah, pa um, power, oh, yeah, definitely. Um, probably if I'm having a hangi, I prefer rewana just because the hangi usually is already pretty, like, greasy and fatty, so pai te rewana, I'll just say balance. But um, I will say, yeah, <laughs> I will say, um, 
Lewana, or toasted Lewana, bala jam, e hoa. That's a breakfast of kings right there. Um, so, koi na te tei whakaaro. And probably Lewana, I think, would go better with, like, fritters and um, white bread. Yeah, yeah, sandwich. Um, yeah, so koi a tēnā. Nā. Oh boy, that was a great little warm up for us e, e uh, We'll get into the, um, the ngako, the, um, the essence of, of, of the wānanga in terms of our whakapapa. Probably a, um, a, a starter. What is, when you think about whakapapa to mm. what is that to you? What does that mean? Ko taku whakaaro tuatahi, like I just think about whānau, really. Mm. Think about um, like ngārianga or mua, like generational fano. Um, but yeah, I also think about, like when I, th- I think about the word whakapapa, I think about like um, taku maunga hoki, moana, awa, yeah. Yeah, tūranga waiwai. Kāpō, kāpō. Hems? Yeah, te whakapapa ki ākoi. Um, ki une ki te whakapapa, um, he mea kaheria, uh, ngā whakaringa katoa ki, uh, ki tēnei wā, mm. um, so as sisters kind of put it, um, it binds us to those have, who have been, and also um, creates a responsibility for those that have yet to come. Um, yeah, and I think whakapapa can be, it's, and even and in some cases can even be more than just what some people call genealogy. Sure. Mm. I think there's um, a greater depth and nuance to it, um, but I think, yeah, we'll get into that soon. Mm. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, just that uh, total one day uh uh even four levels of supporting these points. It's it's a connection to your tupuna, connection to your mokopuna, a connection to your venua, your moana, and like the Baru said, it's a responsibility. Oh. Papa is a responsibility, it's a job. Mm. Like a papa is a job, um, to look after your Udi mm. and to make sure uh, you stay on the track that our tupuna have set for us, mm. um, and it's an accountability. I always think when I say Note O Podi Aho, I'm confirming my accountability to my iwi, yeah. mm. and I'm saying, okay, Note O Podi Aho, so me mahi te mahi. Mm. So I'm here to do the work required to um, bring Te O Podi to its taumata, mm. te taumata e tikana, to, to its rightful place. Kia ora, kia ora. Um, I remember um, one day sitting in uh, Te Tumuheringa Waka, which is our whare uh, at Victoria University, and um, uh, Papa Moana Jackson was doing a koho, um, delivering a kōrero on oh, a number of topics, actually. Nā kātai ki te whakapapa. Um, then he, uh, he arrived at the topic of whakapapa, and his explanation blew my mind. But he's, he described Papa as a never-ending series of beginnings. Um, and I just thought, like, honest, to this day, it still blows my mind. There's so many, and I think the beautiful thing about that kōrero, even though it's in English, it's sort of our tahua, but it, it um, reveals the complexities and mm. the layers to it. And it hokiana ki o kōrero, he like, I think that um, to view Papa purely as genealogy is actually to oversimplify whakapapa yeah, and to exactly. dumb it down. It's, it's a lot more than that. It's so complex um, and it can include, well, genealogy is obviously, a, it's a prominent factor within whakapapa tanga, but um, it's not the only thing. Yeah. And there, so there's sort of context, um, history, uh, all of those things are included. Um, but yeah, yeah, but it's also, ties back into the corridor around um, belonging, being, um, yeah, and, and it's a hehere, it's a connection um, that has some responsibilities that come with it, but also some honour and some privileges that come with it too, some beauty that come with it, comes yeah. with it. Yeah. Mm. That's not a line, it's a circle of me. Oh, yeah. Kia ora. Kia ora. Yeah. I reckon too that word like genealogy just like describes um, that generational, like according to just humanity, like your mm. your generational lines, mm. like Faka Papa is like fundamentally relational, right? Like your yeah, it talks on. about who you are in in your place of time and context, and not just humanity, but then who you Faka Papa mm. back to Afenuane or yeah. Yeah, Moana. Yeah, 
Oh no. Mm. Yeah, spiritually, uh, yeah. you, uh, a atua. Yeah, um, Yeah, fuck a papa, yeah, who mai inga atua. Got the atua keiroto, uh, the atua, um, the essence of our atua mm. lives within us because um, our um, origin from our atua, ana keiroto inga fuck a papa. Um, yeah, koe a katoa. There's yeah. another, like, this is like a funny thing I do to people I know. Like, if um, we start talking about, oh, you know, kero veru, oh, no, here we. Mm. That's awesome. Like, where are they from? And they tell me, oh, you know, no, kone ahu. Mm. I turn around and say, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. They just leave it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, yeah. Cool, yeah. Um, not, yeah. To, not that it means anything, but they really start to think, like, oh, what does he mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah cool, oh, yeah. that makes sense, where they just walk away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and that ties into according to what we've had about mm. identity and, mm. and the ahua o te tangata, yeah. the behaviour, all of these things are, are, are connected. Mm. Yeah, there's a difference eh, between where you're from and like where you're from from. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah hard. Ask the cousin, oh, where are you from, bro? And they'd be like, oh, from Glen Eden. No, no, like, where are you from from? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Ngati Paro. No, yeah. And if they're from Ngati Paro, oh, mother, mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. And, um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tifaro, um, te taki, uh, claiming whakapapa, um, mm. in the sense that Tif's kind of touched on a responsibility. And um, if, the, if there's like a distance between you and a certain whakapapa, it's sometimes hard to go back to it. Hard so to you might find out, oh, he kaitahu ahu. Mm. Um, and people, I've seen this, especially when like scholarships come up, which I've wanted to call it, oh no, he, <laughs> he kaitahu ahu. He te pai tira, oh he, he whakapono re kei ape um, e rahirenga. Mm. I, I, I believe that you do have these, um, these kinships. Mm. Um, now that you've claimed it, mm. Me hoki koe. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you're gonna ask, if you're gonna say mm-hmm. he ngapu aho, he he te aro aho, any of those things, oh well, the responsibility is now back on you for whatever scholarship, for whatever work, for for whatever outcome that you've just claimed to take those who are back to those iwi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They supported you uh, because they, those communities endorsed your kopapa or those those communities and those iwi and hapu coming up kiromaki te kopapa. Mm-hmm. So if so for, for us, for us, it's fine if we're going to do that and we're going to say this is our thing. Um, I encourage us to follow through on that commitment. Hard. And, and that's um, that's Fanaunga eh? And mm. Faka Papa is the basis of that Fanaunga Tanga relationship. Probably one misconception of Fanaunga Tanga is that it's all just you know hugs and kisses, <laughs> yeah. aroha, everyone. But Fanaunga Tanga actually a lot of the time means doing what you don't really want to do but you have to because that's your Fanaunga, mm. that's your blood mm. and you do what you do for your family, for your for your iwi, for your hapu because that's how we are as Māori and mm. honest sometimes it's hoha. I'm like, oh, I just want to have a free weekend for once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Is that yeah, all yeah. good? Like, nah, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. Yeah. nah, but you got to go to Mao Kaupapa, so and so. Yeah, yeah, he hui ki tēnei marae haere koe. And I'm like, oh man, this is oha. And in the thick of it, that's an honest thought, you know, mm. it comes out. But then then you're reminded, uh, there are moments that remind you of like, nah, this is why we do it. The beauty of those connections that uh, that bind us all through whakapapa. Um, and then you're like, yeah, nah, he maori ahau. Whakahihi ana he maori. I'm mm. proud of this and I'm proud of being maori. I'm proud of my whakapapa. Um, I guess maybe the inverse of that, there was, I know for me, um, growing up through high school and that, there was a deep sense of shame that was connected to my whakapapa. Kia ora. Um, so would we relate to that? Or? Yeah, mm. yeah, totally. I, and I grew I feel like I was in school in the era where it was so normal for teachers to just like mispronounce Māori mm. in one, mm. right? So like, it was Tippanese and, mm. and Rādis. Yeah, and, like, yeah. and then so much that the whole like, Everyone, all the tawira would then call the, these um, students, those, those ingwa, like just ka he te mm. um, And so for me, it was embarrassing. Like, I don't want to have a Māori name. Mm. I don't want to have, I don't want to name my kids Māori names. Because to mm. me, it was like setting them up for embarrassment. Mm. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> I, yeah, tino whakamao i taku whakapapa Māori. I was like, ka piri tata ki taku tahaha moa i wow. Like, I was really um, much more proud to be Samoan. Mm. Plus, on top of that, there was a whole disconnect. Like, I didn't grow up speaking Māori. I grew up in very urban um, South Auckland, mm. which I like. I love. Like, it's always been home. Mm. But there was like no one taught it to me. But the systems and structures around me, what I was seeing on TV, uh, I learned that being Māori was shameful. Like, mm. that's not something to be proud of. So I wasn't even thinking that I would 
um, have a tāne Māori, that we would have Māori kids with mm. Māori ingoa, like that was mm. a whole part of the reclamation mm. um, haerenga for me. Kia ora, tēnā koe. Mm. I think um, Whakapapa as well, because our generation, um, we're a product of the urban drift mm. and a lot of, and from that urban drift we had um, intermarriage between iwi, mm. so you get to our generation and we can fuck up up to, you know, six, seven, eight iwi mm. within one generation. Yeah, true. And that's beautiful because you have so much kōrero, so many tātai fuck up up you can connect to, and there's even another layer in that for you being no hamo hoki mm. So there's there's all of this fuck up up that that makes you who you are today, but that also puts a lot of pressure on us mm. in our generation to be to know everything about your Opori tanga, to know everything about your Waikato tanga, to know mm. everything about your Apanui tanga. And it's mm. it's just not possible really in this day and age to be able to mm. um, keep all of those fires burning at once. Um, so that's a, that's a side of whakapapa I think is, is relevant for, for all of us. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's that power of four, eh? Mm. Just like it comes, <laughs> yeah, almost you can't, um, just can't keep up. But that's our reality. But uh, oh, there's probably no need actually to keep up but he 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 Māori tātou and mahi a te mahi mm. and whāinga mō te iwi mm. katoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and just reflecting on like our time uh, growing up with, and I guess some of the shame associated with being Māori mm. uh, at that time. Um, yeah, yeah, it was tough I guess um, to admit it or to actively be Māori in a very like white schooling system mm. um, where I don't even think I think we had a Māori class in like the last year that we were there and it was for the juniors, it wasn't for us That's as seniors. Right, yeah. um, and it was a progressive thing uh, for that school at the time. Um, but it was just really hard to be openly Māori or actively Māori in the spaces. Mm. Atui te pōhiri ka tui te tiwatawa te tau. Yeah. So there, sweet <coughs> maia, hemi, eru te mini whanas can do that job, but for, for the remainder of the year, um, please follow suit. Right. Mm. Um, but I, I think i tika i I te wehinga ki um, te whareuana once we left high school into university and then picked up te reo classes mm. um, or papers, that's what I was like, oh actually, no, nah, this is it. This is mm. what I was lit or what I was I wasn't getting um, during high school and um, this is the I guess the fuck up or in a hunga in a So <clears throat> to that to that extent, um yeah, it is it was awkward at that time. Um, mm. but now fortunately this generation uh, from what, what we've observed, it looks very forward, very positive, very pro Māori. Hard. Mm. Which is beautiful. Yeah, mm. I think whakapapa, in some cases for a lot of us, the reality has been a source of shame, and mm. but yeah, we've, we've reclaimed sort of a pride, re reclaimed and seen the lies that have, um, that the coloniser has, um, has placed in our heads to convince us that we should be ashamed of our, um, yeah. of our whakapapa and there's, there's, there are um, clear examples of that, historical examples of how um, the Crown uh, legally would only recognise a certain blood quantum of Māori tanga yeah. and that's uh, so it's like how much Māori blood do you have uh, are you a half Māori or are you a full Māori and trying to dilute our whakapapa and dilute our Māori tanga um, but what are your whakaro on that journey with thinking about your your particular whakapapa mm. or whakapapa katoa mm. around that um, tō hā tanga tō Māori tanga yeah, yeah I, I maybe for a while now, even like, maybe like early 20s, I kind of, um, yeah, ditched the blood quantum, but I did grow up mm. being like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm half Māori, half Samoan, yeah, or yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and now I just feel like I am Māori and I am Samoan. 100% yeah. both. Yeah, I'm 100% both, and like when I'm in yeah. Samoa, it really makes sense, like, mm. uh, I am Samoan, I, I, I fit into those spaces, I belong to that whenua, mm. um, I see, like, that's my mirror, Mm -hmm. um, that whenua, that moana, and then when I'm home in Whaingaroa, mm -hmm. it's the same thing, like, I, I see myself in the maunga, I see myself in the moana, in, in our whenua, and in our people, like our whanau. So, um, I've, like, really reclaimed that space, and, and you know, e whangai ana te ra ki, ki aku tamariki huki, mm -hmm. um, that they are Māori, that they, they are taitoke rau, that they are Whaingaroa, that they are Samoa mm -hmm. as well. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, we're just heia hanga.
mm. my blood quantum's going. Cool, yeah. Mm. Look at that, I call it all. When you really mm. just cancel that out, delete that sort of anything that's saying half Māori quarter Māori quarter. That's the Kāori the Pākehā. That's a that's for Kāori Pākehā, um, and that's not us. Um, it's the same way, same way in that. Like I call. Um, all of my cousins, kids, my nephews, nieces, you know, all of yeah. that's just Māori yeah. and then have about a hundred yeah. aunties, you know, yeah. uncles. Well, your second cousin twice removed. Yeah. Like, why yeah. would you make a harder? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 You, can, you can tell you only have two people in your family. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, very like isolated, nuclear. And yeah. like, Karo, I actually feel sorry for that because we've got our, you know, we've got a unit, a collector that we belong to. Yeah. And Pai, ko whita mai ngā kōrero mō ngā tamariki, um, I think, yeah, uh, a focus point of this one uh, is um, that there's no greater for knowing that I'll fuck up a responsibility than that we have to our kids mm. and um, hey, ma, ma, koe, and you're also you're on your reclamation journey. So how has um, how has that shaped your thinking around um, raising your um, your babies with your tāne? Mm. And um, yeah, what are some things that maybe some challenges or some um, How's the experience been for you? Um, uh, yeah, kia pono te kōrero, like, kua huri taku ao katoa mm. te reo Māori, like te reo Māori tēnā. Yeah. Like, te reo Māori has totally shifted the entire trajectory of where I thought my life was going to go. Mm. So when, um, yeah, my, when my first one was, was born, mm. <laughs> um, uh, we, my tāne and I decided we wanted to... Um, relearn te reo Māori, reclaim te reo Māori because we wanted our kids not to have to do the awkward journey because I think we'd attempted at different times in our in our like young adulthood yeah attempted to try and reclaim but you know like he maha ngā, ngā barriers that like, the discomfort of reclaiming is real um when you have to do whakapapa research and you don't have connections necessarily in your history mm. like it's just uncomfortable mm. it's doable but it's uncomfortable and it pushes other buttons that I think um, you're not necessarily prepared for. Mm. So, but having our firstborn really like just switched us into gear. And then, yeah, 2019, that's kind of like when we, we both started, went to like a full immersion um, course, <clears throat> just went hard. And we were lucky because we had like the time privilege to do it, support from our whanau. Um, and even like the naming of our son, Toa Awanui Arangi, like I just never imagined that my kids would have ingoa Māori. Mm -hmm. um, but but when I was hapu, I really wanted um, him to know who he was mm. uh, and to not have to do the awkwardness, like, I want to do that so that he doesn't have to, so that his imagination is totally different mm. from mine. Uh, and so, yeah, we started that. Um, and from learning te reo Māori, like, has just opened up so many other mm. pathways, I think, for telling and reclaiming the stories in mm. my own whakapapa. Mm. Like, Writing Brown Melodies was during that year in 2019, learning yeah. about... Um, tāne rore and, and hine ruhi. Mm. but realising like they've always been there mm. I just didn't you know I just got the scales removed from my eyes those um, mm. you know that have been structured in because of colonisation mm. um, just removing the scales removing the layers and being able to see like kwa, kwa tangata whenua aku aku kanohi mm. um, yeah ki tēnei whenua Kia yeah Wee. so it's been a mean journey mm. and it's still kei tahaere tonu mm. um, but our yeah our boys like there are like this is normal. He mm. he he Maori katoa to ao. Mm. You know like, thought, no. Yeah. And so yeah. it's just they whatever their dreams are is just so I I don't have the capacity for them but they do. Yeah. A couple yeah I know got it all good to our very so called Papa. Um recently you become Papa. But what are some of your fakado around Kakatsupri uh Fakatsupri Tamariki Iwatate Pepe Kite Kite Ao Maori. So there's no like source of encouragement greater than having your own kids. Mm -hmm. um, so it's up to being shared. That's um, in terms of motivating Māori to reclaim um, their reel, reclaim their tikanga, reclaim their knowledge about their whaka whaka. Um, yeah, that's, there's no greater motivator really. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing about Tamariki is so her mama, her papa, um, ka whanau mai he uri, um, and that's two whanau that are um, that are on suddenly on a journey of reclamation. 
So we talked about multiplying before. It's that same effect as well when it comes to reclaiming our leo, reclaiming our tikanga, kore or tukuriho. Um, and that's that's something that um, I've I'm experiencing with uh, with my wife, my wife and I. So e tino rere ke o ma wa tukuriho. So my wife and I have very different upbringings. Um, she probably started a lot further back in terms of reclaiming her Māori tanga, but now through our through our baby, through Te Ahurangi, um, her self, she's at um, Te Wānango Takiura, she's on her full immersion journey at the moment, um, and her whānau are also starting to find out more and, and dive a little bit deeper into who they are, their whakapapa. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Mm. Uh, um, it's it's a it's a big thing, as you just saying, um, it's a big thing to take on and to to uh, want to bring those things in for whānau and for your tamariki. Um and it can be scary too at the same time for what that means and what that means for whānau. Um but kura te mai ai te tāki tamariki te tāki whakapapa te mai um, so kura in the aki aki ki a tātou which is an encouragement to, um, despite what that might mean in terms of the commitment to te reo, and the commitment to kaupapa and to the commitment to your iwi, mm. um, by doing so you're giving back to your own. Mm. And um, as Sydney said, it's the, it's nothing greater than that in terms of what you could do as a parent. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> I guess um, there's no... What do you call it? There's no guide mm. on how to raise a Māori <laughs> or how to be a Māori. And a lot of, I know, we're experiencing as a whānau, um, sort of not making it up as we go, but just kind of you arrive at a point that you've never been at, mm. been at before and never had to think about. Uh, and I think about, yeah, both times when our girls were born, um, sort of, oh, you know, what's the what's the tikanga here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. kind of... Um, you got to sit there and think, and um, and it, it could be difficult and humbling too, because so, mm. you got you got to accept that you don't know, mm. if, and then you got to think, okay, well, how do I figure it out, or how do I find it out, or I guess, and in some situations too, like oh well, there's no real baseline, there's no people that we could go to directly um, to ask about it. So oh well, we've got to make our own together, yeah. and and there's actually there's an excitement in that and a beauty in that, but yeah, it's um it's a humbling. Yeah. Need, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's okay as well um, to not have all the answers. Mm. Um, sometimes I sort of feel for our babies because, mm. um, you know, Korawa ngā kini pinky, it's all the kini kini pigs as we, as we reclaim our Māori tanga within this um, mm. birthing mm. and um, and nurturing process of, of, of our tamariki, with our mokopina. Um And I know but uh, once we have more kids further down the track, we'll probably have a better idea of what we have to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> and, and it's okay. It's okay. I think ite mutu ngā ke um, ka, uh, ka tupu tonu, ka tupu Māori mai um, yeah. ka tātou tamaniki kato. Mm. And I think, yeah, just the sense of pride is the most important thing. Mm. Kia maia, kia maia te, ta, te, tama, te tamaiti Māori ki roto tōna ao. And I think there's also, uh, um, I think in the contrast sense of what it means to have whakapapa or to have those connections to whakapapa, and then the inverse is when you have that taken away. And um, I think in particular, um, in terms of our um, state care, what that does to someone again, how damaging it is to whakapapa. Mm. Um, those connections sure. that exist in whānau, sure. um, the uplifting of children and, to, and replacement into, um, uh, com- in a completely alienated environment, mm. and how damaging that is because, mm. um, Tāte whakapapa e chaki, uh, ko, ko he chaki te taru te maiti, mm. e rau, e rau honua. Mm. Um, so I think there's, um, if we don't do that, oh, sorry, if those things are happening, that's detrimental. Mm. Also, if we're not ensuring that those types of connections are maintained, mm. um, there's also a, a issue there as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That damage is indescribable either. Mm. And a Pākehā will never get it. A Pākehā government will never, will never get it. Mm. And we have these entities is an entity ironically called Oranga Tamariki, mm. um, yeah. the, the Oranga being well-being, health, mm. um, livelihood of our Tamariki, 
but you go into that institution and you can't see any oranga. Mm. It's mate ngā tamariki. And um, the, these entities for generations um, have been taking and tearing away our tamariki mm. from their whakapapa, effectively, mm. tearing them away from their whakapapa matrix, mm. their sense of belonging, mm. and the damage that that has is insane to the mm. point where they basically walk out of surfs mm. straight into a jail cell. Mm. Yep. That's the that's the cycle. It's mm. the structure. Yeah, yeah, that's the pipeline. Literally, <coughs> literally on a um, on a belt. Mm. Yeah, and just moving from one institution to the other, uh, and that's because they're lost because they've been taken away from who they belong to. Mm. And yep. I'm not, but of course I accept that some whānau have their own things to deal with, um, and may not be fully ready to look mm. after their kids. But the the point of it, the point of it is to um, maintain the connection to their Māori tanga yep. and to prioritise and to, to give power to iwi and hapu to actually take yep. the reins and be able to manage uh, where our kids and babies go and who they go to and the whare that they go to, mm. making sure uh, that there's a whakapapa connection there, um, that there's a there's a wairua Māori there mm. um, as a way of cutting off that pipeline between the systems and jail. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I heard a, a number the other day, or a quarter the other day, there's a thousand Ngāpui kids in the state care. So if you think there's a thousand Mokopuna, a thousand Tamariki, that's two thousand whānau, the generation up that are lost. Mm. And then if you, the further you go up, it would multiply into the millions. So mm. that's that's who we're saving. Mm. Uh, but um, I will say that uh, Whakapapa can never sever. Mm. Mm. You can never sever whakapapa. I saw a kōrero on Facebook the other day, me a hau te tamariki ko a whati tanga whakapapa, mm. and ko tāku e kore te whakapapa e whati. Mm. Um, you can never sever whakapapa. You can you can lose knowledge about whakapapa, mm. but it can never ever be broken. Mm. Um, it's just... It can be taken away. Yeah, yeah. yeah your, your knowledge can be taken away. Um, but your knowledge to your whakapapa can be taken away. But it can also come back. Mm. Mm. And it's hand in hand with the with identity. No one can take that away from you. They can force you, try and force you to forget about it, or um, to not be able to learn about it, um, distance you from it. But without um, they know this is all the, the reclamation journey. Yeah, it makes you think of like how resilient Maori are, eh? mm. because uh, these are entire structures that we overcome, mm. like that generationally we're overcoming. Mm. So. Like we're talking about oranga tamariki and, and state care removal of tamariki, but also what's been structured in is like the urbanisation of Māori and Kira. removing them from their whenua, um, yeah. moving them away from their Waka -waka. whānau and mm. then creating this idea of like, you know, there's a nuclear family, two mm. parents and then the children, mm. and, and you do it all by yourself. And I think um, mm. the reclamation of whakapapa has like allowed us to remember who we are, that, mm. that, that parents are not solely responsible by ourselves it's not yeah. the mahi of the individual yeah. it's like my our reanga like my yeah mm. it's village it's village uh, like mm. my kids thanks. have so thanks. many mm. so many um uncles aunties mm. to go to because mm. i can't be like oh, i'm only one mm. person there's no way i'm going to answer everything for my tamariki and i think mm. Papa allows us to contextualize ourselves yeah. mm. and yeah. historically we that's how we do a community collective um, collective based um, people yep. that lived in pa that lived you know really connected shared resources that way mm. um, shared supervision that way um, and then to move into the urban areas where you're suddenly isolated you're limited to your um, to your premises to whatever mm. then of course there's going to be issues because that's a two philosophies are fighting each other mm. in that space mm. maybe to go back to the state care stuff around our finding that maybe having issues the thing I can't make, get my head around is that it might be a temporary bad situation, but the solution is a systemized evil. Yeah, yeah. permanent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. like, oh, oh that uh, was bad, but we're going to put them here as if it's a better solution. I'm like, mm. no, we, this is why there's an inquiry into it mm. because it's so bad. Mm. And like, the, they're justifying with, like, oh, you know, we're trying to save the like, Yeah, mm. that, that, that can still be. Um, satisfied, you can still help them, but this is not the solution. Mm. Yeah, and on that, the corridor around the urban drift um, and then state care, those are all, um, oh, talking about urban drift, it's not as if our tupuna were staying in their law here 
and thought, oh, you know, I'm just going to go live over there because um, I feel like it. It's, that was a deliberate result of assimilation policy um, and assimilation policy by the government of the day to force our communities out of their cultural um, their, their cultural spaces, mm. out of their traditional rohe, um, and out of the whenua that they belong to. Um, and then uh, today, moving the, the state care system and moving tamariki out of their homes, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's the same story, it's the same kaupapa, it just looks a little bit different, but it's the same um, objective and it's deliberate. And uh, we, we've got to remember that it's deliberate, it's by design, um, and this is something um, that governments have long done to Indigenous peoples all over the world to disempower uh, and to disenfranchise. Mm. Um, so, ki um, and we can't trust a, if we look at Oranga Tamariki, we can't trust a system um, that doesn't understand us mm. to um, take care of our Tamariki, our Mokopuna, our mm. Whakapapa. They never could. Um, Never, and that's why. Kia ora. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I reckon, like, we also just can't trust the apologies, you know, like, mm. well intended mm. <laughs> governmental officials just being like, I'm so sorry this happened, and mm. then changing nothing mm. exactly. about yeah, our systems exactly. and structures. Yeah. But, you know, it, it, he tohu, like, no one is going to care about us more than we do. That's mm. why we have to have, um, I think, mana motuhake over our own whānau, like mm. we have to um, practice our own tinoranga, tiratanga within our own kainga mm. um, and then b much bigger than that. But you know when people try and put off like Māori having mana over their own, um, over our own people and over our own ways of living, mm. it's because like, they don't care about us. <laughs> like, mm. It just shows like we've got so many years of history to show that these structures, they don't, you, we don't build houses or cities with Māori in the imagination. Like, mm. I'm not walking around Auckland City going, wow, someone was really thinking about my children when they built these mm. buildings. Do you yeah. know what I mean? They yeah, don't yeah, look around vision. and see themselves. Mm. Um, mm. But marae are, mm. our, our spaces are built with our kids in the imagination. Mm. So I think it's really important um, for those kōrero around like co-governance and putting Māori in spaces of yeah. influence or just reclaiming those spaces and like mm. changing them up. Mm. I think mm. there's another um, kind of exciting turn in terms of like te, te mana tamariki, chak tamariki. Um, there's been a few agreements, I know, made a few iwi bodies mm. to take on the Come care on. of children. Mm. Um, and that's exciting because that's tino ranga tiratanga and that's our whakapapa being reclaimed back mm. into us. Mm. Um, some Come of those tamariki that fall into those um, iwi boundaries or those iwi affiliations, mm. you know, ko ki atuki o ki te whanau, ki atuki mm. te whakapapa. Um, so that's also, I guess, a, a positive or something that's, um, that's growing. Mm. Yeah, Pono, and I think that's integral to the rewriting as well of our our story of what Māori care looks like for mm. what aroha looks like in Fano Māori and how we look after our kids, our tamariki, our mokopuna, um, because we've been victim to this Jake the Must picture. Yeah. And as this is this hits <coughs> yeah. really close to home as a tāne Māori trying to work against these stereotypes of uh, just being a fellow who wants to have rumbles all the time yeah. or, and doesn't know how to deal or regulate their emotions, yeah. doesn't know how to love their ch their children, doesn't know how to love themselves. And it's like, this is this rangatiratanga in respect of our tamariki and mokupuna. Um, that's, that's ours to take um, to, to work against those pictures and going back to the kōrero, Papa Moana Jackson, it's not we were once we were warriors, we once we were gardeners, mm -hmm. we once we were yeah. poets, we once we were lovers, we once we were fathers, uh, we once were astronomers, um, and it's like reclaiming that narrative, not for ourselves, and then feeding it to our tamariki, mm -hmm. and feeding it to our mokopuna, um, to strengthen that sense of whakapō. And yeah, on that kōrero, uh, in terms of the, the, the challenges, sort of external government-induced um, challenges, uh, probably another another aspect of, of that in terms of raising our tamariki and, and nurturing our whakapapa is the challenge, and this has come up on our Insta in terms of um, some, some pātai that we put out there, some responses is around uh, kura and kohanga, and recently um, at Waititi they had the tribunal hearings on kura kaupapa. Um, a lot of that surrounds the lack of resource when it comes to, and the, the lack of um, of the mana 
uh, well, recognising the mana of Ahomatua, Kopapa Māori education. Um, yeah, what, what have uh, your experiences been in terms of your, your babies and, and that journey? <coughs> yeah, so my, my eldest has been through Kohara and it started at a, at a Kura Kopapa. Um, and I can really see the, the fruits of that. Ka tino, ka tino whaihua te noho uh, ki te tahi kura kaupapa. And I can see like e, e karo Māori ana takutama. Mm. So the way he sees and relates to the world around him is so heavily influenced by te mm. Um Like the way he sees personality in the sky and the whenua. So he relates to them really differently and he cares mm. about it differently to the way that I, you know, like a very Western upbringing and uh, kei te huri tonu a kufakaro, ki, mm. ki ngā whakaro Māori. But, um, but I can see the way in which um, that has totally affected um, my boy and then, yeah, my youngest will probably start kohanga soon as well. Te, yeah. Tauhu. Mm. Haro? Yeah, uh, tāhua te, um, te mātaki i te tamaiti uh, Māori uh, e to my ane i so mm. it's beautiful to see our, our tamariki and these kohanga just diving and, and just really proud well it's not even they're not proud it's all they know mm. you know all they know it's is they are Māori. <laughs> yeah. um so it's actually not a not a massive deal to them but that in itself is is a beautiful thing um but there's yeah there's also challenges going back to the resources in terms of um trying to get our tamaiti our, our tamariki into kohanga and kura that lack of resource um, is mm. continuing to get thinner and thinner, mm. particularly in Tamaki, because there's a lot of young parents like ourselves with um, PP that are about to turn into their kohanga age, um, but the kohanga aren't, the kohanga options aren't growing. Mm. Yeah. Um, so the the ceiling's not moving, um, and the amount of Fano Fano Maori living in living in Tamaki, wanting their kids to grow up in a in Māori medium education mm. is growing. So there's, yeah, that's that's a massive need that we need to, um, a sh- massive shortfall that we need to try and fix. Mm. Yeah, good point. Good point. Another, oh, recently, just touching on the, um, the, the resource issues that I'll look up and, and, um, and call on my face, and the recent, um, one second tribunal hearing, you know, covering that very issue and what that means for um, the kaifukahaere ngā kaioko uh, me ngā tauira, you know, mm. e noho pōhara ana ki, ki, ro, uh, ki ngā kurukupapa. Um, so the resourcing um, disparity is massive. Um, ngā re ko te ora ngā nui, kei o tātou kurukupapa, kei o tātou uh, ko ngā reo. Mm. Um, which is sad because, uh, again, coming back to our whakapapa pōrero, um, Ka whāngai hea te whangapapa ki ngā tamariki e mm. te tui te, i te kura kaupapa. Um, mm. And you can see it in these kids. And one thing I've always been quite, I guess, jealous of, um, having been in mainstream schooling, um, these ahomatua kids, mm. that's gang. Mm. Gang, gang, ahomatua. <laughs> like, they throw it up yeah. hard. Like, ahomatua, mm. my God, such conviction and such commitment to uh, this kaupapa. Um, <coughs> and which, the opposite of what we went no, through. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ahomatua. <laughs> It's such it. a beautiful thing and such a um, that conviction I think is just infectious and Hard. um if Hard. we could get that for all our kids because the issue now is waiting lists. Hard. Um Hard. 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 it's a resource issue. Hard. Hard. Had enough resource, they would have enough capability, capacity to take all our kids and put them into our Matua. Because mm. again, statistically our kids perform better in these um in in their curriculum and also mm. have better um, prognosis afterwards as well. Mm. So they're better off, better on afterwards. Mm. Yeah, and again, just as just as um, governments, uh, current and past governments, haven't uh, trusted Fano Māori mm. to look after their own, mm. they also don't trust Kuroko Papa. They don't trust their homatua uh, to be able to educate. Mm. Also, not it's, and it's more than just education. Educate and power. Uh, our, our tamariki and our, and our mokopuna. Um, but full circle again to the quarter around resilience, mm. despite um, those the, the shortcomings in terms of resource, mm. um, kura kaupapa over the um, decades that it, um, it has existed as a, and kohanga, um, those, over the decades those things have existed, have um, done amazing, amazingly in terms of 
um, what we're doing in terms of the renaissance mm -hmm. um, of um, te ao Māori, mā tauranga Māori, te reo Māori, whakapapa Māori, um, e rā mea katoa nō reira. E kore aku mihi e, e, e mutu uh, ki te hunga i hiki, uh, i haka tina nāke i enei kaupapa heo ranga mō tātou. Mm -hmm. I just can't really put into words the acknowledgement and it's probably a waste of time to acknowledge it. The best acknowledgement is for us to carry on the kaupapa oh, yeah, and do the I best we like can. That. Yeah, Jump on those kura kaupapa boards, send your kids to kura kohanga um, and... Build a kura. Yeah, build a kura <laughs> and fight the fight. Um, yeah, Engage politically where you can so that um, those opportunities can um, be seized by, by us all. Uh, I tō, tō, tō tātou ao. Um, koe no koe nā pia uh, te, uh, te, te, te otinga o, o te wānanga nei o ngā kōrero, um, ko te kōrero matua e te iwi, um, your whakapapa is your superpower. Uh, don't ever forget that. Um, and we never ceded our rangatiratanga, we never ceded our whakapapa. Um, say it until you believe it and then live it until you feel it. Uh, ko tātou e te nei, kā puta ki te whaiao, kā puta ki te ao taurikura, whānau, whānau. To my to talk to you, homie. Who you? Yeah, my my name, my two sons. Ah.